Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire After Game. Now, really quickly, I do need to mention this is actually a post-commentated intro because I quickly need to note that there are a few issues with the audio, so I had to re there were a few issues with the audio for the game. Uh, for some reason my 3DS capture board, nor uh, capture board noise filter was acting up, so a few instances in the video, uh, the noise went away in the background of the game. So I replaced everything with music, hope you understand. Anyway, back to your regularly appropriate normal live commentary. I believe I did mention this before, but... Pretty much with the 6th generation, you can get every single starter and every single non-event legendary Pokemon in the game. So this time around we have the option to choose between the grass type Pokemon Snivy, the fire type Pokemon Tepig, and the water type Pokemon Oshawott. Now, I did use both Snivy and Oshawott in my Let's Plays for Black and Black 2, so I think it's pretty much an obligation to use, uh, to use, to pick Tepig here in the After Game bonus episode, whatever you want to call it. But yes, I will be choosing the Fire-type Pokemon, Tepig. My goodness, I sure misread that situation, didn't I? I thought that Machoke from the Pokemon Postal Service was a wild Machoke. My, my, what a slip-up. I sure do appreciate your trying to help me out, though. In fact, why don't you keep that Pokemon? Yes, that one from the Unova region. And there we go, we have received... Tepig. Well, I hope to see you later. I somehow get the feeling that I will again, if I stick around here. And that pretty much alludes to you getting a Sinnoh starter. Now, I don't get why they had the Sinnoh starters last. Well, technically, a lot of people have been speculating that means that a remake to Diamond and Pearl is coming next, although I probably don't see that happening until the next handheld, personally, uh, from Nintendo. But... I know, you know, it's whatever. I would have preferred having Sinnoh starters out of Unova because, you know, it, it makes sense Gen 4 before Gen 5, but, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, this episode, we will pick up that Sinnoh starter. We will. We, we will in time. But for now, I actually want to take care of something that I should have long, long ago. Now... You do remember the hour-long episode where we fought Rayquaza, we stopped Zinnia from being a mad person, and we almost, almost, captured Deoxys, the space Pokemon. Well, that didn't happen, the Deoxys part at least. However, if we scale the Sky Pillar here, Deoxys, after you defeat the Pokemon League, should be there once again, and I'm about to test that out. So, I will meet you when I get back to the top of the Sky Pillar. Alright, we're back here at the top of Sky Pillar. Let's find out if that is true. Indeed it is! There is... It doesn't really look red right now, but the red triangle from before. Here we go. It is time, once again, to capture... Hopefully, the space Pokemon, Deoxys. Here we go, Deoxys has appeared. Now... The thing is, Deoxys is very, very frail defensively, so what I think I'm going to do is simply go for a flame charge, just one flame charge, judge how much that does, and then go from there. Or Psycho Boost can take me out. Okay, well, there we go. And now my Pokemon are actually evenly matched, and I do not have Rayquaza on my team, obviously, so 
things will get a bit tricky. Uh, what I can do is I can paralyze this thing, though. Now that Breloom is equally part and its speeds should be... The speed should be, you know, around this... Okay, or a Hyper Beam can happen and Deoxys can be faster. Breloom, Breloom, come on. Oh my... Crit that special attack drop would have helped from the Psycho Boost, but then critical hits happened. Okay. Swellow, come on out, friend. <laughs> come on out, partner. Uh, basically what I need to do is I need to revive Breloom and use Breloom for this, because I, uh, yeah, I don't really see any other Pokemon being useful. I at least need to paralyze this thing with Breloom. That's what I need to do. And there we go, the recharge. Um, how about a quick attack? Let's see how much a quick attack will do. Yeah, see how frail... Deoxys is? A base 40 attack did that much to Deoxys. Yeah, that Hyper Beam definitely... Uh, the Psycho Boost definitely affected the future Hyper Beams we got here from Deoxys. I thought for a second that that would have taken it out. That did a lot more damage than it did before Quick Attack did. Alright, let's full restore Breloom here. Get Breloom back up to full health. Wait for Cosmic Power, oh boy. Okay, so the defense is going to raise, and so is the special defense now. Uh, I can just chuck a Pokeball. I can start chucking Pokeballs. And if it comes to it, if I do come down to one Pokemon, I will toss the Master Ball, because Deoxys is the only other Legendary we're going after. So I really have no use for the Master Ball anymore. Unless I found like a shiny Magikarp, then I'd be all over that and toss the Master Ball there, but... I barely have any luck with Shinies except for the Shiny Why Not. You know, it's kind of funny, my first two actual in the wild... Well, technically in the wild Shinies came from Alpha Sapphire from both of my copies. And I do need to get an eShop card to actually get a new year service of Pokebank so I can actually transfer that why not to my other version uh to my other alpha sapphire from this version cosmic power again thank god it actually went for that so now i can go for the stun spore thank god that didn't miss and now it's paralyzed in red, red hp uh, i do not know if deoxys will still have recover in its move set but if it does then i'm probably gonna rage a little bit all right let's toss another pokeball i have 200 i had 282 going into it this is the second one that i've tossed Hopefully we'll get a bit of luck here. Unfortunately not. As soon as I had to keep... Yep, and there's the recover. Oh boy. Okay. So, Deoxys' defense has risen twice. Now, I could go for Force Palm because Psychic does resist fighting. Or I could go for the normal move. I want to see how much Fall Swipe will do. Because Deoxys is frail, so... Oh, that does a lot. Oh my god. God, and we avoided the Hyper Beam, that's awesome. Alright, I'm gonna just keep going for False Swipe, because False Swipe does eventually lead the Pokemon down, that you use it on to 1 HP. And there's Recover again. Now, if Deoxys is able to get to full health, complete full health, from Recovering, I will go for a Force Palm. I kind of don't really know about that, though, because... I keep going back to the Oh my god! Breloom, whoa! You actually survived that? Holy crap. Alright, um, I'm gonna hope you go for Recover again, just to clean up that HP there. And I'm gonna use a full Restore here. Basically, Breloom is my... Oh, Paralyzed, even better. Alright, good. Okay. Basically, Breloom is my ultimate tool here to hopefully catch Deoxys, but like I said, if I need to, I will use the Master Ball. Special Attack has fallen quite a bit now, so even though it is very, very super effective, it's not going to be enough to take out Breloom. I'm going to keep using Full Restores here. Hopefully, uh, Psycho Boost uses it some more, so his Special Attack goes way, way too low, and that way the attack will do nothing. Oh, uh, well, it's going to raise up his defense again. Now, that's three, I believe, defense and special defense rising things in a row, so... Hmm. I'm really tempted to go for the Force Palm. I really am. And there's Recover again, okay. Um... 
I'm just gonna keep st Oh my god, that recovery did so much. Uh, you know what? Let's risk it. Oh, don't prove me wrong. Oh, wow. Does False Whip do more than Force Bomb? Oh my goodness. How much is this Hyper Beam gonna even do? Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stick- I'm gonna go back to False Whip because that did more than Force Palm. And that was same type attack bonus included, so... Yeah, whoa. Okay. Recharged from the Hyper Beam, and there comes another one. We avoided it, though. Excellent. Although, I would have preferred actually if it hit so that it would have had to recharge. That would have given us a free turn, but... You know, it is what it is. Here comes another Cosmic Power. So now its defense has been risen by four changes both special and physical defense. But False Whip is getting it really close to that 1 HP, but I get the feeling a recover is coming. There it is, in fact. Soon as I mention it, there goes the recover. Okay. Wow, recover seems to do a lot more the lower the HP is. I know it's supposed to be like half, that's what the move description says, but to me it feels like it does more the lower your HP is. Same with like Morning Sun and uh... What's the other? Moonlight? Yeah. Alright, another false swipe there. Recover again. Uh, recover has, what, 10 PP? And I think that's like its fifth recover? So, I mean, this battle will probably last a lot longer than... I think it's actually surpassed already the first time we battled Deoxys. I'd have to officially check that out in a, you know, just check out the video, but... We'll see, we'll see. Alright, let's go for another false swipe. Cosmic power again. Oh my goodness. I think he's getting close to the max out with cosmic power. One more and I think he'll be maxed out. So we'll have to wait and see there. False swipe starting to not do as much anymore. Here comes the psycho boost. And that did still do a lot, even though the special attack has been lowered by, like, 15 stages. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna risk it. I'm gonna actually let Breloom fall. Uh, we'll see, though. He could get paralyzed. But, we'll see if... Oh, he did get paralyzed. Okay. I'm gonna keep risking it. I'm gonna let Breloom fall, if need be. And I'm gonna try out another Pokemon. We already got it paralyzed. Breloom pretty much did its job. Gonna use Cosmic Power again. And the defenses are already too high. Okay, that's actually pretty good. It's maxed out on Cosmic Power, so pretty much it can use it, but it will be wasted turns. Is that the only move it has now? I don't want to really attack it anymore, because Struggle will come into play. And I think it could survive from Struggle damage with what it's at now. So really, it's all about tossing Pokeballs now. It's just using Cosmic Power. Okay, I think that's its only move left, which would suck, but let's find out together, I guess. Oh, goodness. I, I should just probably toss the Master Ball. One, two, three. Oh, so close. Oh, no, it still does have at least a few recovers. Okay. You, you teasing me there. Now, see... Mm. I'm gonna try Seed Bomb. I'm gonna try. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. I can start using Seed Bombs now. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Back up to full health, basically, again with Recovers, and I think it's just gonna keep using Recover and Cosmic Power now. I think that's pretty much all it has left. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see here. Seed Bomb again. Okay. Recover again. So pretty much Seed Bomb versus Recover. It's not really about Breloom or Deoxys anymore. It's just those two moves going back and forth. Alright, Seed Bomb once again. Let's see. I'd actually not mind a critical hit because even though it's the... Actually, I wouldn't mind a critical if it was at full health because I don't know how much a critical would do at the range it's at now. It might actually take it out. Alright, Paralyzed. Seed Bomb would probably k KO there, so I'm gonna go for the False Swipe. 
Paralyzed again. Okay, I'm gonna use one more false swipe. Fearing the recover is coming, though. Let's see here. Hopefully he gets paralyzed again. Cosmic power. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm gonna toss three Pokeballs. Including this one. And if none of them catch, we will toss the Master Ball. Because I am fearing the struggle. Alright, that's one. So we have two more Pokeballs to toss now. Okay. Cosmic Power again. So pretty much Deoxys is out of moves now. I think it has maybe one more Recover left. But that's pretty much it. One more Pokeball after this. One. Two. Oh, Alright, one more Pokeball. Then it's time for the Master Ball. Cosmic Power once again. Alright, last Pokeball. Here we go. But we're definitely catching it next turn, no matter what, with the Master Ball. As long as it does not struggle. One. Alright. Broke out after one. It does have Recover. Alright. We're just gonna use the Master Ball. I'm not really in favor of playing this game for, like, a straight 30 minutes here. So, Deoxys, it has come to this. Master Ball, go! And there we go. Deoxys has been caught. Oh, man. I probably could have just risked it for the biscuit for maybe ten more turns before it struggled, but I don't know. Anyway, Deoxys, the DNA Pokemon in its normal form, Psychic type. I wish that would have said Times Encountered 1 when we caught it, but it had to be twice. As always, no nickname for the legendary Pokemon. Transferred to Box 2 because my boxes are filled to the brim. And there we go. No more entities stand besides me right now, at least, on top of the Sky Pillar. But I am going to get on out of here with Fly, and I will meet you back in Little Root Town to get our final starter Pokemon. But first, I need to take on the Pokemon League again. So I'll see you in about an hour. For you, it'll be, like, a minute. Alright, I'm back, and last but not least to show off in this bonus episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, the final starter Pokemon to collect from Professor Birch. Help me! Oh, why if it isn't James yet again? Help a professor out! I've got some Pokeballs in my bag there! I like how they're so stereotypical with a man being afraid of his wife right there. It's it's really weird for a Pokemon game, but anyway, the final round of starters to choose from. We have the Grass-type Pokemon Turtwig, the Fire-type Pokemon Chimchar, and the Water-type Pokemon Piplup. So, I chose a Water Starter to start out this adventure. For the Johto Starter, I chose the Grass-type Chikorita. And earlier on in this episode, I chose the Fire-type Starter, Tepig. So, why don't we round it out by picking the Water-type Pokemon, Piplup. Happy Piplup is! Happy Feet! Oh my, I sure did misread that situation, didn't I? I assumed it was a Pokemon chasing me, when it was just my own wife! My my, what a slip up. I sure do appreciate your trying to help me out though. In fact, why don't you keep that Pokemon? Yes, that one from the Sinnoh region! And there we go, we have received Piplup. Well, I hope to see you later. Stop by the lab anytime. Always happy to see you. Come play at our house again sometime. Man, why couldn't you have given me a Gen 7 starter, Birch? Dang it! Anyway. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Although, Gen 7, I think, is coming soon. Probably not like this year, but maybe 2016, 2017? I don't know. Uh, anyway... That is going to do it for this bonus episode for Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Now, 
I am flying here to the Battle Resort because this is the last stop on our destination. The train in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire is coming to a halt because right here at the Battle Maison Chateau ba Maison, it's right here. What is it? Yeah, the Battle Maison. Oh, it's a replica, excuse me. Anyway, right here at the Battle Maison, we do actually have one more battle with Wally that we can do. However, to do that, we need to go through 20 straight battles, I believe, in the singles, Maison, Ranking, Tourney, whatever you would call it. We need to go through 20 straight singles. I think it's 20. I'll have to look it up on uh, uh, Bulbapedia, Serby, whatever. Uh, so we will be doing that next time. I probably won't show all of the Battle Maison battles, maybe like a highlight reel before the Wally battle, but I will be doing that next time, guaranteed, on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.